got a phone call a few years ago Said Bonneville is where you need to be So I packed it up and I headed west Just to see what there was to see Oh, by the speed bug I got bit Now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever Scream and scream, line us down to motor scooters And every motorcycle in between Five full days of two-wheeled land speed racing Well, that's what there was to be seen By the speed bug I got bit Now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever we were trying to, I said, we got to come up with a name, got to come up with a name. And one of my guys that worked for me at the time watched the Blues Brothers movie. And he was telling him about how good it was. And Roger overheard this and he said, did you say the Buell Brothers? And I go, yes, I did. <laughs> I love Wisconsin. I'm a good Wisconsin boy. The, you know, Harley Davidson's made there. My, my pit bike's got Briggs and Stratton. They're made there. Old style beer, which is the world's fastest beer, does. We are all together. There was six, eight of us, a couple have passed away, but we talk once a month at least. And we're, we're the, well, we're like, bro well, we are brothers. We lived in a house when we were in California. We had uh, the animal farm. There was uh, six guys lived there, six Harleys. We parked them all in the house. And the funniest thing was when his throttle cable hooked on the refrigerator, he pulled the shitty right in the house, and the, the bike was wide open going, Hit the refrigerator. Hit the refrigerator. <laughs> Busted the door off. Shit went everywhere. <laughs> and the sad part is our rent was 65 bucks a month. And we couldn't afford it. Couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> that was big, so it cost us 10 bucks a month, and we were on the landlord. He goes, damn you guys, you're always late. We were stationed together in the service back in 1969. We lived together. We all rode Heart of Davison's. And... Uh, as a kid, I heard about uh, Bonneville listening to a radio station, listening to Mickey Thompson. And uh, we rode an awful lot in the service, and we loved it. And Harley Davidson finally made a bike that you could be aerodynamic. And it was a 1995 S2 Buell, which we're still racing oh. today, one of them. The Buell brothers had so much fun that I caught a little bit of grief for not sharing that fun with the, with the women. And I like having to be able to help people, which I do an awful lot, and I, I love doing it. So we started the Buell Sisters, and uh, we got last year Erica set a record for somebody else for a stepdad, and then I asked her if she wanted to ride ours this year. She goes, she couldn't wait. Yes, was the answer and the short answer. And she's 16 years old. And uh, right now, she's back at the motel doing homework because she should be in school. But since she can come out here and have a little bit of fun. But that's a dedication. She's a, a good learner. Matter of fact, she set an AMA land speed record today. She beat a record that's been standing for, I think, three years. And she went 130 down, 127 back. And uh, she was pretty excited. <laughs> Just say the <laughs> thing. Yeah, she was, yeah, she was pretty excited. It's a special place that like the man behind us we've been you know he met us out here he's taking care of us fritz he's you know we love him dearly and uh well love a lot of people dennis manning john yates uh you know these people are phenomenal people that they're icons to us i mean they're our heroes warner riley i finally got to meet him he signed my book you know i mean these are icons in the sport uh pete hill should be coming out you know drag race knuckleheads his whole life You don't see Team Honda, you don't see Team Harley Davidson, yeah. you see Mom and Pop throwing bikes together and coming out here and having fun, see how fast you can make it go. And I'll add one thing, it's a lot of the people couldn't afford to go to college be a mechanical engineer, maybe got married too young, and this and that, and some of them are smarter than mechanical engineers, and yet don't have the, you know, the diploma in the, in the window, but some of these guys are phenomenal. And, and and then you got you the other way too, but some of these people are, and they'll try, and this is the only place you can try it, and if it works, it works. If it don't work, guess what? You try again and do something else, and it, it's, uh, it's it's the world, the white dino, the world's greatest, whatever you want to call it, and it's, you, it's, 
it's, it's more humbling than any yeah. <laughs> sport you ever want to be. One day it's your buddy, and the next day it'll kick your butt. Yeah. There's a lot of humble pie eaten right here. Hi, I'm Joe Taylor from Siren, Wisconsin. And I came out here in 1995 with Tom, Santa Claus, and Pete, and a bunch of other guys. And we started racing Buells. And I was pit crewing then, and everybody else got their turn, and one day I got mine to ride it. And I set a couple records on that, and uh, I went 152 on that. And that record is still a Bonneville record. And uh, I went 150 on it, modified what they call naked when you take the fairing and all that stuff off. And it's, it's something that gets in you, and you. If you like to go fast, this is the place to do it. All the people are. Uh, good people. They're not egotistical. Actually it started as an S1 Buell and it's got a, it's a what they call modified. It was partially streamlined but our ferry didn't work out and we took that off and uh, ran it and altered and modified. And uh, it's 1350. It's got an S and S motor in it with dual uh, with dual super e carburetors one on each side. And, it hauls ass. I went 158 on it. It's been a good horse. And they want to set that, you know, what you want to do is set a record right away and then keep up on it and then you try things for next year. You keep track of it. Does that work? If that doesn't work, you experiment. And if it doesn't work, you cross it out. Your famous words change one thing. thing. One thing. You know, people change more than one thing. Bad boo. In my spare time, my coach, uh, might be hockey. They're eight, nine year olds, and it's both women, or excuse me, both girls and boys on the team. And this year we went to state and we finished fourth. And uh, I love the kids, I love the uh, work hard, and they can see the benefits they get out of it when somebody takes the time to work with them that isn't one of their parents. The passion we learned was from the old timers taught us that when you work hard, it will come and you know, we haven't missed a year since 1995, and until the day we die, we'll probably be out here. Well, I got a phone call a few years ago. Bonneville is where you need to be. So I packed it up and I headed west just to see what there was to see. Well, by the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit. I got the salt flats fever. Scream and scream, line us down to motor scooters and every motorcycle in between. Five full days of two wheeled land speed racing, well, that's what there was to be seen. By the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever. Alcohol or a turbocharger helps some motorcycles down the line. After a week of watching all these bikes, I'm here to say the bubs are playing is fine, fine, fine. Well, I don't know if I can wait a year. Come next September, I hope to be back here. Watching all the bikes and meeting all the folks Hanging down at the barn hearing some lousy jokes By the speed bug I got bit Now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever Fast bike, the great cheese They're on course, you can't beat it, <laughs> the pass of three They're getting faster, just look and see Tucked down low and riding with a smile Screaming on through the famous measured mile Well by the speed bug I got bit now I just can't quit, cause I got the salt flat fever right here at Bonneville.